That's right, Moto fans. It's another Always Moto production. Welcome into the emergency department. Brought to you by Liat Moto Australia and Technic Motorsports. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm your host, David Hogan, the Australian physiotherapist who knows the injuries in our sport of supercross and motocross. This is a quick overview of the riders, the injuries of the, from the riders as we head to round eight of the Super Motocross Championship at Daytona this weekend. We do an in-depth injury review on the timeframes, the recovery needs, the injury details, those little diagnosis details over on the Always Moto podcast. It's available in the show links um, or on your favorite podcast player. So if you want more info than this video is going to give you, head over to the podcast and check that out. Let's recap our last video, the video WTF to the AMA about the incidents around Austin Faulkner. Lots of comments from everyone. Thank you. I think the general consensus was that the, uh, the whole situation, it could have been handled better for Austin Faulkner. But I also learned a lot of the differences around consent aspects in the US medical system. So I appreciate that info from you guys out there as well. If you haven't watched the video, you can find it on our channel or at the end of this video. I'm sure I'm going to drop a link at the end. So let's get to those riders that are out for day don't, Daytona. Austin Faulkner of the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, he's out. L3, L4, transverse process fractures. Those are the little spikes on the sides of your vertebrae. He also has a scapular fracture as per his own updates. He also has a suffered a concussion that he talked about on his social media pages. Evan Ferry on that new Triumph team, he is out this week and potentially a few more with a grade one AC separation. Now that's right here where the collarbone meets the um, shoulder blade. Oh, we're pointing on this side. Um, and it's a grade one. It's only minor, but it will see him out for likely one to two weeks. Gillian Ferres of the Rockstar Energy Factory Husqvarna rider sustained a fractured femur midweek whilst training at the Baker's Factory and will be out this, that's, that will end his Supercross season and likely a fair chunk of his outdoor season as well. But more on this as the surgery and the recovery progresses, this will likely be anywhere from three to six month recovery for him. Christian Craig's an interesting one, also on that Rockstar Energy Factory House Fana, was out at Arlington unexpectedly after completing press day without issue. No news at this stage on his availability for Daytona. We expect that he's not going to be there. But he is recovering from and getting reviews of that re-aggravated elbow injury. It's going to be a problematic injury for him given the history that required multiple surgeries last year from that fracture and dislocation of his elbow that ended up with the result of a removal of the radial head. How will this all go? We will see. Will we see him this weekend? That's the big question. Will we see him 2024? Hopefully. Um, hopefully this isn't the end for Christian, but we'll see how that recovery goes. All right. And. Our also out, Bubba Pauly of the Mads Park Kawasaki team dislocated his shoulder in qualifying at Arlington. No direct word from Bubba at this stage about his status, but we suspect that he won't be at Daytona. He may be, but it's unlikely until his imaging is cleared and he's got more information on how that shoulder is. A late addition to the list, just before we hit record here, we noticed that Derek Drake put out an update on his social channels from that Bar X Suzuki team. He had a crash in um, Arlington and he's out for Daytona. No details, just banged up as the usual comments. Um, and he's hoping to be back for Alabama. And Luke Nice, our privateer mate, unfortunately, just over there on my shoulder on his Club MX jersey there that he had for World Supercross. Unfortunately, we checked in with him. He is not recovered yet for Daytona. He is out this week as well. That lower limb fracture that he's recovering from is going well, but it's just not good enough yet to be back at the races just yet. But who's returning in Daytona? That's the question. Adam Cincerullo on that Monster Energy Kawasaki will be back from his hand fracture sustained at Anaheim 1 from that collision he had with Jorge Prado. He had been trying to ride through and he didn't he finally gave up at round four um, that delayed his recovery a little bit but it's basically a four to six week recovery for a small bone fracture but he is back this week at daytona jaleek swollen that triumph will be out from uh, will be back at daytona sorry his team pr confirmed that there was a likely concussion but nothing was confirmed in any of that correspondence this week but he is back for daytona this week Kevin Moran's of Kevin Moran's racing team is returning to Daytona after a crash in Arlington that kept him out of the main program. We checked in with him. He's all good. He's been training all week ready for Daytona. And Josh Cartwright, we've been talking to Josh. He's from that Mads, Mad Pouts Kawasaki team as well. He had a crash in Glendale that saw an AC joint separation occur for him. He is planning to be back for Daytona. We also plan to have him on the podcast next week for the Always Moto podcast, so check that out. That's the list for Daytona. Remember, if you want more in-depth details on these injuries, which we give you on the Always Moto podcast, 
Check that out in your favorite podcast player. Thanks to Lead Moto Australia and Technic Motorsports again for helping us to put these productions together. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next week, Moto fans.